if I'm allowed to, this is for the Bacardi Martini Grand Prix television. Is it? We, we so upload can, this can, on. Can, can you please cancel whatever I said before? Yes. Yeah, please yes, do. Yes. Because, you know, <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble otherwise. You know? you know what I say? I say when I see a beautiful lady, I'm melting away. <laughs> And I'm already melting away. You see? <laughs> 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 no, she's ashamed. No, she's. Focused. You're focused. <laughs> I'm focused you know. So, Salvatore, what do you bring? I, I, you brought some awesome tools. I, I like to show the people. Would you, you like to show do, the people? Do you, would you mind if we tell the story about this? Yeah, sure, fine. Okay. Okay. This is a prototype. Okay. okay? So it's an old prototype. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, you know, everywhere that I go around the world, I get very annoyed how I see bartenders who destroy something so wonderful, one of the best cocktails that there is. I agree. Way, because yes. It's the most sellable cocktail. There is. Yes. The breakfast eh? martini. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's one of those. Yes. And uh, the mojito. Okay. Right? We all know that we should respect the ingredients. And one thing that I always see that uh, bartenders do not know how to respect the ingredients, especially the mint. Mint is a fresh, delicate thing. Yes. Um, we all know that if we pick up a leaf of mint and we put it in the, you know, in the center of our hand and we smell it, there is a little fragrance about it. You give a gentle slap and the fragrance starts to wake up, right? And it's delicate and it's intense. So when you put the mint in the glass to make the mojito, that's when you should learn how to respect the mint. And this bar spoon, what it does, it is almost like a, there is a bowl, it's a roller. I use it for two things. One for an old fashioned, mm -hmm. to know how to mm -hmm, break mm -hmm. uh, the sugar and to granulate the sugar mm -hmm. with a bitter. And the second thing is with the mojito, but this is the best tool for mojito, because gently what it does, it just rolls the mint with the sugar, so it doesn't break it. Can I order the first one? Of course you may. Yes. Okay. Uh, even if I don't know the price. And I think <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a little longer, yeah. all right? And it's going to have a spoon as well. Cool. So you can uh, yeah. adjust it with the measurement. And basically you just lift it. Perfect. And then yeah. You have the perfect... Is it idea. called the mojito spoon? It is called the mojito spoon. Every able, every able when? Huh? <laughs> every able when? When's the date of release? Uh, I'm working on it. I'm hoping okay. by next month it's going to come out. Cool. And um, I pre-order. Also, <laughs> what, what is... You want my credit card? <laughs> 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 the first spoon cost about £2,000. But I think... Yeah, I take the second. <laughs> I take the second. <laughs> With my signature. <laughs> uh, I, think, I think it's going to be cool. because yeah. I Very really cool. I love the... I think I really, truly, I hate the... See, uh, you know, like what you would say, the respect of, uh, you know, what makes a classic. Yeah. And uh, how to be able, how to learn how to make it. Yeah. We can all know the measurement, but yes. if we don't know how to do it, yes, it, right? the measurement is only a small and part. This is um, my shaker. This is about, how would I say, about seventy years old, right? It's a, it's, it's a German maker, but it's amazing that it still looks like yesterday. Oh yes, because you know how to look up something. Yeah. Okay? Um, what I like about this, you know, different from a Boston shaker, Boston shaker, is, is, you know. That you know, it's, uh, it's yeah. okay, but it's fringy. Yeah. You know? um, whether there is a glass, what the, the glass does, and the metal, it's a two different elements. I don't like the glass one. I never use a glass Boston shaker. Well, because uh, you know, a lot of bartenders do that. But Some has does, to. It yeah, doesn't yeah. doesn't chill properly. With this, yeah. it does. And what you do is rotate the wick, the ice. Yeah. You know, and I use this in many different ways, either as a hammering yeah. or as a muddling. Yeah. Right, and it's all about know how to use your wrist. It's yeah. your arm and your wrist. Your wrist yeah. is the most important aspect of. We like to mention that not the Japanese invented the hard shake, that the Europeans ever knew how well, it worked. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, when I was twelve, that was like. the first time I had to know how to shake. You know, yeah. so yeah, yeah. we always have been uh, ahead of everyone as a European. You know, don't yeah. forget Japanese that just got miles behind. You know, yeah. in that respect, they know how to. They the craftsmen know how to do tools, but if you're looking for something that, uh, that for example, it's not the usual. Uh, They're awesome, oh? Okay, if if somebody stole it, it's you. <laughs> we know where we find them downstairs in the bar. <laughs> this is what it does, right? It 
it's a personal strainer. Yeah. You don't need, when I shake, I don't need to double strain, right? Because, again, when you shake, it's all about your wrist and your arm, right? Remember that the shake is your musical instrument. It's like a trumpet. They know how to, tr how to play it, all right? So when you strain it, a lot of bartender will put the strain on top. So what happens? The ice will hit the strainer first. And so everything else starts to spray. So you don't have a delicate flow. Huh. With this, it goes in and holds the ice. Right? And it will do the other ingredient. Because now the spring is big enough yeah. to tie it's really up. Yeah. To get the tie. And plus, when you shake, remember, it's not about breaking the ice. It's about mixing. It is, yeah. Right? And, and when you pour it, the drink will pour it straight, and you have the control mm -hmm. yeah. of pouring. Yeah, that's right. lovely. But they are also vintage. They are vintage. Right. Yeah. But I, again, I'm doing this, and I'm reproducing this. So, yeah, about ten. Okay. 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 So we, we gave enough surprise to the people out in the world, okay. if they are not here. Okay. Now you know what you miss. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we make you jealous. <laughs> Okay, let's do the setup.